Hi, Mark Savage here. We're going to go for a little ride. This is on the Honda Pan. But first, when I say about the key issue, well, okay, it's a bit barbaric, but watch this. Job done. Come on, how's that? Camera one and camera two. So, we're going to go for a ride and then I'm going to split screen to what you see. Hopefully I've got you a little bit higher this time so you can see what's going on. Okay, welcome to my vlog. This is what you call quite bad weather for motorcyclists. No, it's not raining. No, there's no ice and snow. Slightly worse. You've got moist floor. It's been rained on, so all the holes are up. And you've got these horrible bloody leaves everywhere. Now, you come across a large patch of leaves on a bank like that, and you're off. White lines as well. Great for helping people to stay to your side, let you know there's a school about and what have you. But you go over them in this weather at an angle, and again, you are going to have a little slip. Try not to break on them. You can't avoid them. Do your best to. But that car just pulled out then. If I'd have jammed on, been dry and then wet, a bit too hard on the old front brake, and you are off. Happens a lot to little peds and 125s. Doesn't so much happen to big bikes, but end of the day, it can happen to anybody. It's not an experience, it's just literally whether it's going to go or not. See that car just jammed his brakes on there and went to put in the school there. Completely wrong and then pulled away again. So for motorcyclists, you know, not clever. Also in this weather, your vision. Here we go, I knew you can do it here. See the old slippy stuff there? Leaves, white lines, jam his brakes on. A little bit too hard on the old front brake and you're going to be off. It's as simple as that. So how do you avoid it? Keep a safe distance from the car in front of you. Not always possible, I know. Try not to bank too hard. Know the road you're on. Most of you are going back and forth to work. You're not touring this sort of weather. So you know the roads you're going to be on. But the sun is in your eyes. It shines on the floor. Doesn't take much, does it? Anyway, what do you think of the key? Eh? Eh? That's not too bad. Now, I am using the old cable. I'm not using the uh, wireless microphone here. Thank you. Indicator off. See, like this little bit here, you can't see. I mean, you know, it's right on my eyes. I've got the uh, Jivvy helmet here with the dark sun visor. Video on here. Do you know what? I quite like it. A lot of the other, a lot of the other helmets don't come with that dark visor, like a barely tinted one. You know, like twenty percent rubbish. And when you wear sunglasses, they sort of dig in the side of your head. So not clever. Anyway, nicely go. Also, mud. You know, back roads like this. I use every day. The old farmers come out, they slosh mud everywhere. It's, it's quite thick mud as well. So very, very easy to slip on that. So I'm trying to say, make sure your tyres are inflated well. Make sure they've got good tread on them. And be careful. Always have your guard up. They say ride aggressively, but always have your guard up. You know? Here we have the pan. European ST1300. I've been riding it a week now in all weathers, rain and shine. It's a little bit dirty, bless her. But do you know what? It's actually a really nice ride. I can't knock it at all. Except the wind. Very windy today. It's Remembrance Sunday here. 11 11. 18. So I'm observing my uh, few minutes silence today. You've got to, haven't you, for all the people that are uh, fallen for the wars. It pretty much wiped out England, to be honest with you. I'm surprised to see the facts that as many civilians died as army men. That's uh, more. That's uh, quite shocking, isn't it? Again, slow up before you need to. Look to your right. 
and come out. Manhole covers stay off of them as well. The best trick is do not accelerate too much, all right? Slowly accelerate. If you have to go over manhole covers, white lines, no the leaves, try and stay as straight as you can. Obviously on the bend you can't. And try not to bank too much, again the latter. Don't worry about the car behind you. He doesn't give a rat's ass about you. And if you come off, he'll more than likely run you over anyway. Let's hope not. Nice roundabout. You know I've been around this roundabout many, many times. Do not bank heavy on it. Take your time. Even yourself, lean over slightly, but keep the wheels as straight as possible. So, what do I think of the uh, pan anyway? Well, I don't know if it's all pans, but they are a little bit of weight. <laughs> and also I thought it was six speed. So I was told it was five, and it is five. There you go. So, windy day, you got a loud whistle on this today. But uh, all good. Staying on the dry bits. Now she likes, literally, she's happy at 70 to 80 miles an hour. But braking on this, as I said, I don't know whether it's my ST or all of them, the brake on the front brake is uh, pretty pants. I mean, I'm not a front braker anyway, but you literally have to pull and pull. The back brake's quite good, but compared to, let's say, little Versus or the Trophy, the brakes on this are not brilliant. Now, I have got a car up my ass, but I'm not going to take it fast here, and I will move over, hand out, because right up my ass. Well, it felt like it. Let's have a look on the camera. And there you go. It isn't really up my ass. It just feels like it. You look in your mirror and you think, oh, they're really close to me. And uh, that was pretty cool, actually. It's funny your perception. I kept looking in the mirror at that car and I thought, oh, I'm right here. But it was quite nice. They stayed away from me. So this shows having a rear-facing camera can really, really help. So what are the cameras like? Well, you're viewing it now. Coming up to a car, now the car's well behind me. I did speed up a little bit. I felt bad actually, and that's what I mentioned in my last video when the van was right up my ass. You feel pushed, you feel you've got to give it some, but old and wiser I guess, I won't now. If they want to overtake me, they will. If they want to at me, they will. I'm staying straight. I'm not going to hospital. You come off a bike at 30, 40 mile an hour, you're going to do your wrist, your shoulder, your legs, whatever you're going to do. So, bugger them. We all know you get that car that doesn't give a damn about anybody else. So, you know, I mean, I'm still courteous, don't get me wrong, nice and slow. A lot of lorries travelling this roundabout, and the white lines seem to be right in your track. Look where I normally go, that white line now would be right in there, but I'm staying off of it. And you don't want to travel too far out because you've got the, the leaves and stuff. So it's, uh, it's not fun. Obviously, it's maximise when it's heavy rain and everything else but you, you tend when the sun's out get a little bit complacent I guess you think ah oh, that'll be all right and all it takes is say a little store of leaves right brakes um they're okay thank you very much gear change is lovely and smooth on this I have to say been in the rain a couple of times in this this week and it was still good uh, maneuvering getting through cars lane filtering and stuff is all good as well now jamming brakes on jamming brakes on you think why is he still jamming the brakes on i mean he's well oh, i don't know what he's doing there oh, i think you might be reversing in there that's that's oh yeah <laughs> not good Could have been another car pulling over there, pulling in front, doing whatever. And the, you can't tell when you're behind a van, can you? 
so you have to break a bit earlier lucky enough he was doing nothing so just slowing down really there's a massive gap in front of him I can see over his shoulder hopefully you can see I have noticed on my wireless microphone there is a slight delay sometimes Whee! out of sync as it were but you know what it's so clear I will put up with it as long as you don't mind guys and girls I'll put up with it because it's so clear it was so nice you could hear me no matter where I was bending down whatever you can hear me and again I'll stick to the uh, the cable one in here nice and dry and that's the thing about this sort of weather the sun on this roundabout today is lovely and it look lovely and dry you can see the road but then slip you know if I'd have really angled there that was a little bit of moisture there they had a little bit of diesel oil anything on it you bank a little much and you come off if it how the hell did it come off in the roundabouts are your main buggers though so here we go again on my camera coming out overtaking and then he's behind me does give a good perception of what's behind these cameras now I've got the 1080 on the front and 720 on the back and I don't think I've got that right because <laughs> on this camera it uses a lot more on the back camera than the front one so I think I've actually got them all way around and I'm not going to change them now I wanted a more view of the front but of course what comes up behind you you know and bank a little bit see him heavy brake there let's get ahead of these two now the acceleration of pan's quite nice it is no sports bike and it does feel a little bit oh how can i put this nicely you know it's not a speedboat you know it's more like a a, a liner cruise liner cruiser makes sense you know you get a little bit to get your speed up and when you got your speed there it does carry the speed so at this roundabout now i'm doing 60 miles an hour I have to prepare for it, especially in this weather. I mean, I put my foot on the back brake and that's quite hard and I'm not really losing speed much. Front, and the front goes down a little bit. If I'd have been at a slight angle, I reckon it may have slipped a little bit. Now this van, the petrol cap's open. I don't know what he's doing. Is he letting me go? Is he just been a dick? Do you know what? I will go. I'll put my hand out. Thank you very much. And he put his hand out to me. That was nice of him, wasn't it? So, uh, yeah, it wasn't been horrible. In fact, it's been damn nice. I hope the camera caught that in putting his hand up. You know, there was me moaning on the other one about, you know, the van. I mean, I drive a van, so it wasn't critical of van drivers. It was just that guy that day. This is the, the lane he took. It says clearly left-hand lane. And on the video, it shows him zooming in here. And here was already a van here, which bibbed him. But if someone had been coming out of Costa or McDonald's there, a little bit of slip there on the roundabout. Just a little tad, you know, it done it to me another day. There's a petrol station there. And I'm wondering there's a little bit of diesel because the lorries come out of there and go back round. I mean, it didn't show it on the camera, but I just felt the whole bike just a little bit go to the left-hand side when I didn't want it to. Not a, uh, a bum clincher, as we've all had them before. I wish I'd had this on Friday, I came through on the Versus. And uh, the front slipped, it did. And I had a little, little wiggle. And then... Uh, the back slipped and I thought to myself if they had have both slipped together nice and wide if they had both slipped together I reckon I would have been off there you know I was only doing 25 mile an hour 20 mile an hour it wasn't fast at all but it just shows it can happen and I've been riding 30 odd years doesn't make me any more wiser well it shows it does take that back it does make me wiser god damn it <laughs> anyway Here's the same crap as the last vlog, Chelmsford City Council. 
They are doing nothing but leaving the cones out. Look at them leaves over that other side. That is just not good. Evil leaves. I mean, they're bad enough for trains. Oh, Lloyd didn't like it was going to stop then, did it? Well, I'm going left here. Let's see if he respects that. Yes, he does. Right, there we go. A little vlog of my ST1300. Brakes are a little bit rubbish. Acceleration's great. Wind protection's great. Clock's old. But it is an old bike. Am I liking it? Yes, I am. I love the radio. I wonder can you hear that. Do, do, do. Right, the only bug about the radio <laughs> is on the other one, it was slightly better quality, but when I was going along it would raise, when I'd slow down at traffic lights, it would quieten. This doesn't. So if I'm driving along at 70, riding even, and I have it up reasonably loud so I can hear it, because it seems to fade around about 60, 70 mile an hour, when I pull up the next set of traffic lights around about, it is blaring. And I do mean blaring, and I'm like, um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. <laughs> I do feel a bit of a dick. <laughs> anyway, enough. Guys, like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching my little vlog. Key was clever. And I will catch you all later. Cheers. Bye-bye. Take care of yourselves on those roads.